Hi you guys, I just wanted to chat with you for a quick sec while I am heading home. I just got done leaving business Costco and you know, I really just want to share with you how to authentically be present, you guys. Um, you never know whose life you're going to change. Very well maybe your own, <laughs> to be honest. But um, there's just so much to be said about being present. Um, you know, within my business and through my team, I'm constantly teaching and training people um, you know, in order to have a social marketing business, there's definitely some things that you want to be able to do. And if you are not doing them, no worries. You'll learn as you grow, you know, as you go. And that's one of my favorite things about this amazing company. It's not just about selling products. It is truly about becoming the best version of yourself. And so some things that I would tell people who join my team, you know, and you're growing, and I would venture to say this to anyone doing any kind of social marketing, um, you know, there's a few things for you to consider. Think about your body language and the vibe that you give off and how you speak to people, how you present yourself. These are things that you, you honestly, you have to be thinking about when you are in the public eye and working in that kind of environment. Um, and it's literally, there's very specific things you wanna think about. When you're speaking to someone, are you smiling? <laughs> when you're doing videos, when you're speaking, obviously you're, if you're speaking about death, death, you don't, you know, you're not gonna be smiling. Be authentic to the situation and you know, be transparent in your feelings. Um, the other, it when I, you know, consider body language, what is your body saying? Do your words match your facial expression and your body and, you know, your arms, your feet, <laughs> your the look on your face? Like, do they all match what you're saying? So when you're telling someone, I'm super excited that I got to meet you and I think you are so wonderful. Are you, I mean, do you look welcoming? You know, do you look intentional? Do you look real? Do you look authentic? Do you look like they really are that fun and that amazing that you are that happy that you met them? Um, another thing I would love for you, people to consider is when you're trying to reach out to people and um, your goal is to maybe make a new friend or something. And you guys, this could be anywhere. This could be within work. This could be getting ready for college. This could be in preparation to be a part of a school team. Think about you know, again, your body language. Do you look inviting? Do you look like you're happy to be where you are? You know, if you're an athlete and you're showing up to practice, is your coach excited to see you? Or are they thinking, oh man, here comes, you know, the bah humbug. Like, are you pumped? Are you excited? Are you excited about life? Are you so blessed and grateful that you have the gifts and abilities to be out on that field or on that court? Um, or in that pool, like whatever you're doing, you know, when you show up to class, are you prepared with your all? Are you prepared with a mindset to learn, to crush it, to kill it, to be excited and pumped that you have the opportunity to do so? Likewise with the business, if your goal is to meet people and network with people and share the amazing opportunity that I love to share of Arbonne with health and wellness with people from the inside out, I can't look like, oh my gosh, I'm here to just grab my milk and get the heck out of this store, or I'm just trying to fill up and want to be gone, like do not talk to me, do not approach me. Think about that. Do you look approachable? Do you look happy? Do you look like, hey, I really want to talk to that person? Um, they just look so vibrant, like you've got to be something different. Be you, but there's, like, there's only one you, so is that you exciting and enticing and is that you vibrant and giving off just these amazing energetic vibes and wanting people to be around you? Think about that. I share all of that with you to say this. Simply going into the business Costco could just be a one, two, three, I'm in and I'm out, right? I am eight and a half months pregnant. I've got my one-year-old my one -year -old toddler. Um, anybody could use as an excuse, like I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I just wanna get in and get out. Like I don't wanna talk to people. Thank God that's not my personality. It kind of works out that way. But I can't say that that's always the way. I cannot say that I always feel that way. 
but gosh, am I grateful that I do wake up with a mindset to decide to have that kind of day, to have that kind of attitude, to have that kind of mentality, that kind of gratitude to be able to share my energy with other people. You guys, we are sharing our energy with the world around us, whether we like it or not. So decide today, is your energy something that's encouraging and uplifting someone and motivating their day? Or is it something that you're sucking out of the life out of not only yourself, but out of them? Um, so going in today, I met this amazingly gorgeous woman named Destiny. And I, when I say gorgeous, you guys, I mean literally from the inside out. Her soul and her spirit were just pouring out such beauty. And I'm just so grateful. I, I truly take to heart those divine appointments that God sets up for me. You may not see it that way, and that's totally okay. However you see it, that's up to you. But for me, I absolutely see it as a divine moment to just be prepared to meet beautiful people that God places in front of my heart, in front of my, um, you know, my day and being able to connect with her and chat with her and just love on her and hear from her. And especially in a time where our country is so divided on ethnicity and race and everything. Um, you know, I'm Puerto Rican and she was black and it just like, first of all, just make this super clear black or Puerto Rican as black, the Hano Indian and Spaniard. But, um, and I love that because there's such an array of colors in our culture and people like seriously, like there are whiter than white people, <laughs> Puerto Ricans and blacker than black people, Puerto Ricans. And I love that in every single shade and color in between the hair textures, you name it. So it's just super cool. And I absolutely love that. Like, man, God is so creative. I love him for that. Um, but anyway, so just being able to chat with her and talk about society and talk about our kids and parenting and how you know they're viewed and the struggles that they have right now and it's not just with school or friends it's you know trying to understand and how to fit in in a society with law and um you know trying to do the right things and still anyways you got i'm sure you guys have heard and read plenty of different things throughout the last few years but you could just imagine so anyways long story short to be able to have a conversation with her about how Jesus loves us and to just hear from her and how passionate and loving she is for her church and congregation and how much she's grown and I'm just so grateful because sometimes we're in such a hurry and in such a rush um, you know that we miss those amazing beautiful opportunities and I, I truly am so grateful because I was able to just chat with her even just for a few minutes you guys and to just hug this woman who was a complete stranger and I feel like we are connected if nothing else by the love of Christ um, and I just I truly am so grateful for that and I just want to be super clear you guys especially those of you maybe who are just graduating high school or you're heading into college or even you know, you're older and you feel like, gosh, I've missed out on so much, or maybe I don't do those things that I just mentioned before about your body language and talking to people and being open and having that extra time to be able to chat with people that you guys, I'm so grateful for my time freedom to be able to do that. Um, but I just want to encourage you to set yourself up for those, t for that time, be open to being able and being available and you never know who you might cross paths with and who you might be a blessing to and likewise them to you. Um, I truly am grateful for that. And I just want to encourage you guys to just slow down a little bit, enjoy your day. And you know what, if you can't, if you're in such a rush, a hurry, anxiety, depression, not feeling great, you're not feeling like you want to talk with people, you're feeling overwhelmed or exhausted all the time or whatever the case may be, can you please reach out to me? Like, I'm not even kidding, you guys. I do Arbonne because of the beautiful gift that has given me. Health and wellness is not a joke. And it's so wonderful to be able to do that with Arbonne, with not only products, but this amazing community as a business opportunity. And the, the people that you're surrounded with, it makes a difference. What you hear, what you tell yourself every day, who you hang out with every single day makes a difference, you guys. You are, you, you do, you become who you hang with, you become what you believe, you become what you say, you draw those things into you. Whatever you're thinking every day, you are absorbing that and you are attracting that. So if your constant conversation in your mind or who you're around and is feeding you conversation is not encouraging and empowering, inspiring and pushing you to the be, be the best you that you can be, you need to drop a comment below and let me be your hype girl and let's change this because 2019 doesn't have to end the same way it started for you. New Year's Eve, you can be rocking and out with a whole new mindset, a whole new lifestyle that you really are passionate about and want to live for. So let's connect, seriously. This is what I know I was created to do. 
was to encourage, empower, and inspire. And right now I'm gonna start with that little guy, but let's connect for sure. Have a wonderful, beautiful, amazingly blessed day, you guys.